There are three kinds of variables. The first one is the independent variable. The second one is the dependent variable. And the third one is the controlling variable. Hi guys, I hope you guys are doing well because today I'm going to talk about research variables. Maybe some of you have known about research variables but some of you might not. So today I'm going to explain it very very briefly so you can guys can understand very very well. Alright, what, what is the definition of research variables? The simplest definition of a variable is it is something that takes on different values. It is something that varies. Within the context of research, a variable may be defined as an empirical phenomenon that takes on different values or intensities. There are three kinds of variables. The first one is the independent variable. The second one is the dependent variable. And the third one is the controlling variable. What is independent variable? The independent variable is the condition that you change in an experiment. It is the variable you control. It is called independent because its value does not depend on and is not affected by the state of any other variable in the experiment. Sometimes you may hear this variable called the control variable because it is the one that is changed. Do not confuse it with the control variable or controlling variable, which is a variable that is purposely held constant so that it cannot affect the outcome of the experiment. The next one is the dependent variable. The dependent variable is the condition that you measure in an experiment. You are assessing how it responds to a change in the dependent variable so you can think of it as depending on the independent variable. Sometimes, the dependent variable is called the responding variable. And the last one is the control variable or the controlling variable. As the name implies, control variables are factors which are controlled or held constant throughout an investigation. They are kept unchanging so that they won't influence the outcome of the experiment by changing. However, they do have an impact on the experiment. For more understanding about these variables, I'm going to take an example. In a study to determine whether how long a student sleeps in comfortable temperature affects test scores, the independent variable is the length of time spent sleeping. The dependent variable is the test score and the control variable is the temperature. So, here is the time spent sleeping and here is the test score. And now here are the references I took from thethoughtco.com and from the book Science Dasar by Unisa Tim F. Mipa. Thank you! Technological development Mesopotamia era and the industrial revolution era. Mesopotamia comes from the Greek words mesos or middle and patmos or river, which means the area between rivers, that is Tigris and Euphrates river. The Ubaid nation was the first nation to inhabit the area in 5000 BC with the appearance of the cities of Kish, Eridu, and Ur. The arrival of the Sumerians in 3000 BC mingled with the Ubaid people. They built a city with houses made of mud and clay. These are some technology which developed by the Mesopotamian. First, in architecture, the Sumerians built their city according to planned city rules. Buildings are generally made of brick and clay. Second, the ability to process metal. From the processing of metal, produce mirrors, sticks, axes, and other weapons equipment. They are also good at making linen clothing, poultry, and copper utensils, and also gold jewelry. Third, 
in the field of science, Ashur Banipal, leader of Asheria, built the oldest library in the world. Fraud, Mesopotamia in Babylonia era, was famous for its hanging gardens, which later became one of the wonders of the world. And the next is the Greek. The famous Greek philosophy is to use logical, rational, and systematic thinking methods. How to investigate natural phenomena to the smallest extent by scientific methods. This philosophy gives real results in science and social sciences. In addition, Greece is famous for its sports party on Mount Olympus which is now with an international Olympic sports party. Furthermore, the development of science and technology in Greek civilization included 1. Making stuff with clay as the basic material. 2. Make a sailboat to the sail the Mediterranean. 3. Producing various architectural works. 4. Developing industries to support trade. 5. Creating metal objects such as word tools. The next is Yellow River Valley People. During the Zhou Dynasty, Chinese philosophy developed rapidly due to the birth of three Chinese philosophers, namely Laozi, Confuzi or Kong Chu, and Mengzi. Laozi wrote his teachings in a book called Tao Te Ching. He upholds the spirit of justice and eternal prosperity called Tao. The teachings of Laozi are called Taoism and teach humans to accept fate. The teachings of Kung Fu Zi are also based on Taoism while the teachings of Kung Fu Zi itself are called Confucianism. Ancient Chinese has developed some technology in their life. Include and the next is Roman society. Roman scholars were not only as theoretical scholars, but also as executors of theories created by the Greeks. They do not accept empiricism passively but continue to be examined using scientific methods. The development of science and technology is growing rapidly as follows. 1. Knowledge of building art is very meritorious because they manage to find concrete to build a sturdy and strong building like a dome that forms half a ball. 2. Knowledge and techniques for making roads, bridges, waterways, drainage in the city, which are still used today. 3. Knowledge and ability to organize in the military field. Roman military terms are still used today, such as legions, divisions, cavalry, and others. 4. In the field of law, the Romans already have norms of legal life that are based on the loyalty of citizens. The last one is revolution industry. At this time, science is developing rapidly along with the advancement of science. For the last one is revolution industry. At this time, science is developing rapidly along with the advancement of science. Researchers continue to be carried out for changes in order to improve the comfort and welfare of life. The industrial revolution is a term that marks a radical and rapid change in the development of human capabilities, including work equipment and to increase production output. The equipment used uses a conveyor belt or running, be running the belt and is run by a mechanical engine, in addition to the support of large capital and cheap labor and extensive market areas. And this is the searches for the, for the video. So guys, this is the last from the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.